It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be given three rational and irrational numbers, and we're going to put them in order from least to greatest. Let's begin. We're told that the th lengths of three sides of a triangle are 3, pi, and the square root of 5. We're asked which list shows the lengths in order from least to greatest, and we're given four choices. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, make your answer choice, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we have three side lengths of a triangle, 3, pi, and the square root of 5, and we're going to put them in order from least to greatest. So let's line them up. We have 3, pi, and the square root of 5. So 3, we can pretty much understand what 3 is. Pi, we can abbreviate or approximate that to be 3.14. And then the square root of 5, we're going to estimate this using a number line. So we know that if we start with 2 on our number line, 2 is equivalent to the square root of 4. What comes after 2? 3 comes after 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. So we can see that the square root of 5 is just a little bit bigger than 2, but smaller than 3. So we can say that it's 2 point something, which means that this is our smallest number because it's going to be less than 3. So we're going to start with the square root of 5, and then we can see that 3 is less than 3.14, or 3 and 14 hundredths. So our next value is 3. And our largest value is going to be pi, because that's approximately 3.14, which is greater than 3. So if we come over to our answer choices, we can see that the correct choice is answer choice C. And there you have it. That is how you order rational and irrational numbers, ordering by using a number line to determine the value of an irrational number. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon. Have a great day.